You've just had your first ballroom lesson. How did you find it? Well, it was okay. I've done time with my career. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. He absolutely loved his lesson and I haven't seen him so focused and intent in such a long time. I mean, even television shows, if he loves them, he loses interest, he walks away. It's really hard to keep him focused, but he had his eyes on you the entire time. Yeah, that's what kind of dancing does really, and uh, from previous experiences working with uh, uh, kids with autism, yeah. they kind of, you have to make it very simple, you have to make it very achievable for them yes. so they feel they can do it they can um, sort of succeed at it so simple patterns simple slow mm -hmm. music really works and they all like a bit of like cha 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 or just for dance <laughs> because it's a repetitive thing but they start focusing and they start doing yes. over and over again and actually from the previous experience you know if they really dedicate themselves they actually really they perform really well it takes a bit more time mm -hmm. but once they have the pattern in their mind it is fantastic. It's, 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 it's a second nature, and they really do well in the dancing. And very, very uh, good time now to get into it because even big competitions now kind of do, um, you know, kind of special events. Well, and you know, and, uh, um, assistant dancing, or yes. special youth dancing, which oh, is a new thing that's so, so exciting yeah. to see to the normal way student, which I think is so fantastic. It's not like they go to a different competition. They will yeah. say the concert, but all do um, just do dancing just in their particular event, which yeah. I think is also lovely. Oh, incredible, yeah, because if he was in a group setting, he would fall to the background, he wouldn't be able to focus, and he wouldn't yeah. have that attention that he needs. So to have that one-on-one, -on -one, it really is priceless for him, and to see his progress in that one lesson, it's yeah. more than he's achieved in years. So thank you so much it's as a mother a to say that. It's so amazing. amazing. It's, it's really great for us teachers too. Like whenever I have a lesson like that, it's just such a wonderful um, feeling to be part of the journey and see them, you know, actually enjoying it, succeeding and doing something very different. And all the mind works very differently yeah. to um, how we perhaps learn. So to see them sort of getting into it and enjoying it, it's, it's yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a longer process. But it does mean that they can all do it. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And lots of charities work with especially needs children, autism, um, ADHD. Is that something that you think you can do? Work with charities? Yes, yes. it's something we've been on my mind for a long time, and I really, really hope we can expand it. Also, working with ourselves as well, obviously involved with the charity. And you know, I've always wanted to give back. And, you know, from all my years of teaching now, 25 years of teaching, I, I taught so many children in different conditions, and I even work with on wheelchair and I work with oh, wheelchair yeah. dancing shows. So there isn't even anything I think I yeah. have done by You've now. Done it well. <laughs> and so I feel like, you know, I would really love to do, uh, uh, get like a, a charity kind of classes um, for children that I am with different conditions. And so it would, be, it would be something which I really love to do. Oh, definitely. You give me goosebumps again. Like every time <laughs> I talk to you, I get so inspired. It's lovely. But yeah, to bring them away from video screens and phones yeah. and, and get them moving and feeling like they've achieved something is so, so important. Absolutely. And you take tops from 18 months? Yeah, I have really, literally. <laughs> well, to be honest, it all starts, I know it's going to sound crazy, it all starts with the pregnancy of your baby. Exactly. Basic pregnancy oh. over here, and the moms always say, Oh, you know, like it was literally like a journey throughout. Yeah, then they have the babies, they come to my baby yoga, and then oh. they come to early movers, and they come to mini movers, and then they move oh. to ballroom dancing. So, you know, it's quite a special thing to be able to kind of see that develop at the very stage. But as far as like a dance academy goes, yes, we have tots, baby tots, kids. Teens, adults, oh everyone. Yeah, yeah, that whole spectrum. So, you have autism ADHD. Yes, and attention can be really hard, can't it? To focus on what you're doing and to follow lots of people in a big group. So, doing something like this one on one, it's really lovely, isn't it? Do you have many special needs children who want to get into a hobby to dancing, having that special time where they can just learn something new 
Yeah, so far I have done quite a few private lessons and I think to be fair it's much more difficult for them to follow with a um, condition like that. Um, and they book, you know, so one-to-one um, -one tuition I think is really what kind of benefits them the most. Mm -hmm. But we all know about incredible um, music uh, uh, kind of influence on, 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 on people and children with um, um, autism and it really where they can flourish and actually develop coordination with such a group of them in a way to do some exercising and, and, and just have a bit of fun and, and it's just you can see by the end of each lesson, these kids really loving it and yeah. just doing so, so well. So I'm pleased if you allowed me to teach you. Yeah. Because it was such a cool thing. I know you were born that to more than you were thinking. But we did a bit of cha cha cha, didn't we? And we got me Macarena and all sorts, which I don't do. So thank you very much for that. It's really nice to learn from you. I mean, I love the Macarena. Have you dancing? Yeah. I'm sure you're really good dancing. <laughs> Nobody's watching. Absolutely. You see? But it really builds good life skills for you being able to listen and to focus and to do those instructions. Yeah. And I think dance can really make a difference. Yeah, it is now to to have wonderful um, influence and um, you know it really is great, yeah. great hobby to explore something very different and yes. something great for body, mind, and emotional state for children as well. Yes, so. definitely. And Gabriel, what would you say to children if they've never danced before, like you hadn't? And they want to give it a go. What would you say it's like? What do you well, I'd have? say it's okay, but if you play Fortnite a lot, you can just try Fortnite dances. Get oh, dancing! <laughs> 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 <laughs>